So keep that in mind. This is why I say, guys, look in your closets first because I know you all have everything I just mentioned already. It's Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about coats. So I asked in a previous video, I can't remember which one it was, I think it was a style video or a haul, and I asked you guys, would you guys like to see a coat video, kind of like my coats and whatnot, and it was an overwhelming yes. Um, but I really wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. You know, I'm like, do I go out and buy a whole bunch of coats and, you know, do a haul that way? Or do I share some of the coats that I have? I already have so many coats. A lot of brands have sent me really cool coats. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to make this more of a watch this before you buy a coat video. So I'm going to share coat trends. I'm going to share my top 10 favorite coats, which are behind me, that I will be rocking all season long. I'm going to share tips on how to select the perfect coat and kind of like how to shop for coats or what you need to look for when you're purchasing a coat. So this is going to be a really cool video. I'm very excited to shoot it and share with you guys. Um, but before we jump into the video, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm Monica. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. In addition to sharing my passion for fashion, I do share travel. I tend to travel a lot. I, I'm finding that I'm traveling a little bit more right now um, for work. It obviously has a fashion and lifestyle blogger. And I also am obsessed with home decor, so make sure you check out all my home content. It's really cool, especially if you love modern, clean um, design, then you will definitely love my home content. So yes. Make sure you check all of that out. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram for daily style inspo as well as TikTok and my website, oddbymonica.com for basically everything in one place, including YouTube videos. So yes, check it out, subscribe. Now let's get into this video. First of all, coat trends. Um, actually, but before we jump into that, the reason why I said that you need to watch this video before you buy coats, because in all honesty, <laughs> Coats are always the same. <laughs> Nothing really changes. And I think this is kind of what deterred me from going out and buying a whole bunch of coats from Zara and buying a whole bunch of coats from H&M. Um, I feel like I did a big coat clean out last year. And even though I did the clean out, literally my coat closet, which is a huge closet, is full again. And this is a new season again. And I've already started acquiring more coats. So... I love coats just as much as the next person. However, in reality, it doesn't get that coat in Atlanta. So I have to be a little bit more strategic when I'm purchasing coats and when I'm adding them to my closets. Um, I do, I am from Toronto, so I do go back home at least once a year. And now that things are opening up, um, that'll be more than once a year again. So I definitely have coats for colder weather. I have coats that are for, you know, the climate in Atlanta, which gets cold. But in all fairness, well, honestly, in all honesty, it doesn't get that cold for me. Uh, for me, not that it, it gets cold for people here because I've seen people here wear fur coats and I would say maybe like 30 degree weather or even 40 degree weather, which is kind of like, um, what is that Celsius? So it's like 10, 5 degrees, which is, you know, I think it requires a light coat, but to each his own. <laughs> Don't cover me. But yes, um... So it really depends on the climate and where you live first and foremost. But in terms of co-trends, there are some trends that are, yes, on the forefront of fashion. So we're seeing a lot of puffers. Puffers are very popular right now. We're seeing teddy coats with the furry details. That's very popular right now. Plaid coats, very popular right now. Shackets are still popular right now. But the reason why I said watch this before you buy anything is because 
these coats are probably already in your closet. <laughs> so you really don't have to run out and feel like, oh my God, I have to get this coat, or I have to get that coat. Um, that's why I'm gonna line up these trends and what you need to look for because I do believe they're probably already in your closet already. Um, I'm gonna share some of my favorites. Well, I'll share that with you guys. Um, but these are pieces that, like I said, are in your closet, so don't feel pressured. I would say the only thing is, if you're like me and you like adding new to your closet and you like updated versions of classic pieces or what's you know on trend basically then yes go out but never feel pressured to buy stuff because of trends especially when it comes to coats so the trends the puffer coat we've seen puffers everywhere i shared puffer coats with you guys in my trend report if you have not seen my fall trend report make sure you watch it guys it is a really good video it's very detailed i highlight a lot of things that are already in your wardrobe already as well as items that you could probably introduce to your wardrobe so make sure you check it out and i did touch on coats puffer coats huge i've got a few puffer coats in my arsenal right now and i did add i think i added like two already um, and it's still very warm in Atlanta, so, you know, I'm not so keen on jumping into puffer coats. I might do, like, my new coats video for you guys later on in the year, but right now I just have two new puffer coats, which I feel like you guys have seen some of them in some of my other videos, and I'll share that with you guys as well. So we're seeing puffers that are cropped, maxi, midi, length, vest, everything, name it, there is a puffer coat for you. Um, and in addition to puffer coats being very stylish and on trend right now, especially with the silhouette, so you're no longer seeing them in your classic just straight or fitted or belted, you're seeing fuller silhouettes even though puffers are already bigger to begin with they're becoming even fuller oversized a little bit more exaggerated you're seeing colorless puffers you're seeing a little bit of everything but keep in mind regardless of what silhouette you pick you're going to be on trend because the trend is puffer coat so go for what feels comfortable for you if you want to update what you already have in your wardrobe that makes sense because the silhouettes are slightly different so like i said you're going to see a lot of collarless pieces you're going to see a lot of pieces that are really extra in terms of the sizing and then you're going to see a lot of crop pieces so if you want to update i get it why not have fun with fashion second trend which i feel like is a classic and really never goes out of trend belted coats so we're seeing everything belted we're seeing our classic wool coats that are belted we're seeing puffers that are belted we're seeing fabrics more and more fabrics and your trench coats and whatnot are belted so you definitely want to make sure you have a belted coat this season because it is a trend in addition to it being a very classic and sophisticated look it is very much on trend especially when you pair it with your biker boots or a bit more edgy sh edgier shoes then you will you know definitely be on trend but you will also look chic and put together so that's the great thing about belted coats then we have our teddy coats um i love these i think I, I feel like i got my first one last year and i will share that with you guys i do have it here um and they're just fun and fuzzy and comfortable i feel like max mara does the best like you know teddy brown just beautiful coat that we all love i did add the max mara coat onto my wish list i still haven't got it eventually one of these days maybe i will but not right now because i don't need it <laughs> but yes definitely there are it does you don't have to go out and buy a max mara coat there are tons of options out there um it is very much a fun cool trend um i actually just got a really cool vest in a teddy and i'm going to share that with you guys because it's not here so give me one moment while i grab it I'll be right back so this one is just uh it's absolutely cool and cute and fun but the cool thing about this is this is such a classic everyday piece that you know you never think of it as a trendier item but it is this particular vest is from Talbot's I'm working with Talbot's so I selected this fun vest just to kind of you know ha add it to my arsenal because I don't have anything like this and as you can see, it looks kind of fun over the vest. You can layer it multiple ways. And, you know, you've got a look. So I have my Dior combat boots, a pair of skinny jeans, this um, blazer from Zara, and a cost turtleneck. And you've got a look. Bag. Classic Fendi. And you're good to go. I know this is not an outfit video, but I want to also give you a visual wherever I can. And because this vest is not part of the list, I just wanted to share that real quick. But, yes. That is a trend that I absolutely love. I feel like a lot of us probably have these pieces already. Um, so don't overthink it. Don't think that, well, it has to be the newer silhouette. No, you can still be on trend with classic silhouettes in this very fuzzy, comfortable, almost like teddy bear-like fabric. So definitely a trend. 
All right, so next we have the shackets. I feel like last year I went cuckoo crazy with shackets. I got so many shackets from Zara, H&M, um, and I loved all of them. I still have them. I do have a shacket in my arsenal that I will continue to wear. Actually, I'm going to wear all of them, but I have one that I'm going to share with you guys as well. But shackets are still a major trend. You can't get around it. I feel like Isabel Marant made them like everything. And then everyone else kind of just jumped on the bandwagon and created their version of it. Um, and it's still very much here to stay. It's very stylish. It's on trend. They're comfortable. They look great with regardless of what you pair them with. So that is another trend we are going to see a lot of. And then last but not least, just your classic coat. And when I mean classic coat, I mean your single breasted, your double breasted, your maxi coat, your belt, which I mentioned already. All of these classic silhouettes in wools and wool blends and polyesters are going to be a trend. They always are a trend. They never go anywhere. Never. <laughs> the only difference is that brands will kind of... Um, accommodate the newer trends or so not the newer trends but newer colors or silhouettes to fit into these very classic silhouettes so now you know this um well pretty much every fabric you can think about is pretty much on trend but i guess the focus could probably let's say color for instance um usually we see more muted colors in the fall winter but this season we're seeing muted in addition to the muted colors we're also seeing bright colors so you're going to see your classic silhouettes in every color you can think of so keep that in mind this is why i say guys look in your closets first because i know you all have everything i just mentioned already so Never feel pressured to add unless you want to update. That is the only way. Okay, so now that we've gotten the trends out of the way, I'm going to share the coats that I will be rocking all season long. Like I said, you guys have seen some of these. Um, I think maybe one or two might be new, but for the most part, I've shared most of them on Instagram. So you guys have pretty much seen everything. And I'm just wearing a basic black turtleneck and black pants. And I'm going to try them on for you guys and just, you know, share my looks and kind of how versatile they are and how I had to just shop through my own closet this season. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first up we've got this Sweaty Betty Puffer. Um, I worked with the brand earlier in the season and this was one of the items they gifted to me. Oh, I'm obsessed. So they did a collaboration with Halle Berry and her Rastin, Rastin line and they sent me this coat. Obsessed! Like, completely obsessed. Funny thing is I bought, I think it's the Frankie shop had something in the same green hue and it was fuller and it was short. I bought that to take with me to Finland when I went on my Finland trip. If you haven't seen my Finland vlog, make sure you watch it. It's really good. But I, I bought that, but I also bought it in a medium and the jacket itself was already oversized so it looked horrible on me. Um, but I'm sure you guys have seen that particular coat. I'm going to have a picture pop up. I'm sure you've seen this coat on a, Tons of influencers, tons of people have bought it, and I felt like it was the coolest thing ever, but it just wasn't for me. But then I got this one, so I'm so happy I returned the other one, because this is everything. Like, regardless of what black outfit you wear this jacket with, you will look like a street style star. Like, it's got the, this hood, which is so cool. I always love a good hood. You've got the beautiful green detail. Green is a major color this season. You've got the oversized pockets, nice and comfortable. Then you have this detail, which kind of like has the snap. So I can close it all the way down if I'm super cold. But living in Atlanta, like this is how I would probably wear it, even when it's cold, because this is so warm. If I'm correct, this is um, a down feather filling. So it's nice and comfortable. And the good thing about most of, even though down, obviously it's, down it's down feather it's comfortable it's luxurious you can be fine with a polyester filling so don't feel like you have to go out and spend the extra money to get like a down filling to be a bit more a bit warmer or whatnot you can still kind of get that with polyester so just definitely read the details of any jacket you're buying and i'm going to go over some of those little tips later on but yes this one is nice and warm very comfortable the snap like i said the snaps can be closed the inside is black I love it. I think it's still available. Anything that's still available, I will definitely link. I love the way you've got the rib end here. And this is a great detail for coats too because it keeps you nice and warm. So if you're buying for warmth and not necessarily just fashion, 
details like this are something that are a plus a lot of brands tend to have that detail on the inside of your coats as well so that way you know when you have your gloves it keeps the cold out um being that i am from toronto i'm from canada and i've sold plenty of coats in my lifetime i am very still much aware of what you need in terms of a comfortable cool coat and now you can actually get that in stylish trendy coats so you don't have to just go for like the classic Canada Goose or Montclair that are strictly made for warmth. They're even creating their coats in more stylish on trend silhouettes. So you can get a trendier coat like this, puffer on trend and still be nice and warm. And I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> on to the next. Next up, we've got my absolute new favorite coat. <gasps> Obsessed. This Isabelle Morant plaid coat is everything. It's kind of giving me shacket vibes, but it's technically not really a shacket. Um, you know, I never, even though I do pay attention to detail, especially when it comes to fashion, not so much all the time, but I was with a girlfriend and I was wearing this coat and she's just like, she just kind of like took it and started looking at the details and the finishing and she's like, yes. The difference in terms of the workmanship and everything, and yes, the difference is clear, but you can't necessarily compare an Isabel Morant jacket that's costing you anywhere from $700 to $1,000 or more with your H&M or Zara. Yes, a lot of these things are well made with some of the fast fashion brands, but obviously when you're going into more of a premiere, you're going to get the stitching detail with the finishings, with the piping and all of that and a cleaner just finish in terms of the weight of the fabric as well, you're probably getting more of a wool content as opposed to a polyester. But also keep in mind that those polyester contents make you warmer. So, you know, it's kind of a toss up. I really say, honestly, coming from someone who has worked in fashion for over 20 years, instead of focusing on the brand or whatever, just focus on what you love in terms of a silhouette because you will find beautiful things from Zara, you will find beautiful things from H&M, and you will find gorgeous things from premium brands. So focus on more so of what you love, um, unless you want a forever piece, but honestly, who really uses anything forever? <laughs> and if you do, you know, you can still use some of the lower, um, lower price points forever depending on how low and how well the quality is so it's just a toss-up anywho back to this coat i love it nice and full in the back love this silhouette this is a silhouette where it's almost like a shawl so you've got that shawl collar first of all you don't have any lapels or whatnot you've got more of a drop sleeve so not necessarily the rag on sleeve but you do have the drop sleeve here and then you've got the clean single breast silhouette with the buttons, a slip pocket up the side. It's just a very clean coat. And because green is such a versatile color, you really can wear a coat like this with anything and everything. I wore this um, on my trip to Finland. I've worn it to New York. I've worn it to so many different places. It is such a great coat to have and it adds interest. You're going to see so many plaid coats that you can't go wrong with having a plaid coat right now. I actually bought another plaid coat and I purposely bought it for this um, video, but there was just something about it that didn't push, like I just didn't, I don't know, I, the love wasn't there. And you guys know, I talk about this all the time, whenever you're adding anything to your wardrobe, make sure there is a love. And the love wasn't there when I put it on my body. Plus I did a poll on Instagram and it was like at 60%, no, actually 70% was like, no, give it back. So I gave it back. And this will be my plaid coat for the season with addition to my um, some of my jackets. But I love this. Love this jacket. I'm obsessed with it. On to the next. All right, next we've got this beautiful yellow coat from In Other Stories. I shared um, this coat with you guys. I found it in Finland and um, ordered it and had it sent to me because I didn't have any space in my luggage for anything else. And you guys have seen this in one of my other hauls. I love this coat. I'm obsessed with yellow. You guys know this. I shared my love for yellow over the year. Uh, when I do my, you know, bag review or like bag update video, you'll see all the yellow that I collected. I collected so many yellow bags this year. And I figured, you know what, why stop for summer and spring with yellow? Let me continue. And when I saw this yellow coat, I was just like, yep, it's coming home with me. And remember what I said about the collars? You have more collarless pieces. So I think that is something that you definitely want to look for. You're going to see a lot of coats that are just collarless. This is also a very nice, clean, simple silhouette. 
um, not too fitted, a lot of space to layer. And this also packs really well. Um, you've got a beautiful yellow lining on the inside. And it's just an easy coat. It's lightweight. It's very, very comfortable. And it looks great against black. I feel like most of us tend to wear a lot of black during the fall, winter, but at the same time, you can mix it with color. I did a great job of mixing it with color with this look. You, I have, you guys have seen the video, but if you haven't, I posted that on Instagram. I mixed the yellow with browns and beige hues, and it just looked absolutely stunning. I am obsessed with this coat. It is a must have, you cannot go wrong with it. Fits really well, obsessed. On to the next. Oh, I almost forgot to add, the another stories, Yellow Puffer is also 100% polyester blend in terms of the inside and whatnot. So, like I said, polyester is nice and warm as well. So don't feel like, oh my God, I just have to have, it has to be feather or goose feather or whatnot for it to be warm. You can get that with polyester. Okay, so this coat, oh, it's the color for me. I love it. I am obsessed with green. Like, I feel like everyone is kind of obsessed with green right now. And of course, I am no exception to that. I bought the Bottega Flash boots with this exact same Kelly Green sole. I also have a beautiful Kelly Green Bottega bag that I love. So when Tabitz gave me the option of picking this coat, I was like, oh, hell yeah. I love it. Absolutely obsessed. So with this silhouette, you've got your stand-up collar, which is a very classic silhouette. We've seen this collar. It's nothing new. You also have the zipper on the inside with the lapel covering the zipper, which I love. This length is quite classic in a coat right about the knee. Um, the pockets have a little panel over them, um, which is not always necessarily the most comfortable way to put your hands in your pocket, but it works. And it's a great added detail to the jacket. You've got a few panels at the back, and you'll find that when you have panels kind of going down and cutting, it's more so to give you more of a narrow yet fitted silhouette. And I'm here for it. I love it. So this is what I meant when I said that brands are taking classic silhouettes and accompanying them with colors that are very much on trend. So the Kelly Green is a major trend. Bottega has elevated this color, even though this color was always amazing. But it's just taken the color to the next level. And that's why we're seeing it everywhere. And it's great in a coat. I love this coat. It is everything. Obsessed. On to the next. This red coat is just stunning. This is from Express, guys. Like, I am 100% obsessed with this coat. This is probably the most classic silhouette. And I have other coats in this silhouette, but I just left them upstairs because I just wanted at least one. And it was the color for me that just drew me into this beautiful, single-breasted, one-button coat. Absolutely love it. You've got the little... Um, panel over the pockets again and then you've got a few straight lines at the back to just kind of really narrow the silhouette I love this coat I'm obsessed I got it when I did a collaboration with the brand you guys have seen this coat already and it's just amazing it's so beautiful the sleeves are nice and narrow you've got more of a square shoulder which also gives it nice structure and just elevates it and makes it very chic and elegant in terms of the length this is a little longer than my knee so i would say it's about a midi length um and it's just a beautiful piece i when i last checked for the coat it had sold out but hopefully they bring it back they also had a belted version of this so that is available and i will link everything that is still available. In addition to that, I will link similar pieces, but I'm obsessed with this coat. It's the color, it's just, I feel like the color is everything. Everything. Get a red coat. I already have a red coat, so I was kind of like, do I need another one? But sometimes you see something that just draws you in, so I was just like, you know what, let's do it. I love it. On to the next. Oh, I almost forgot, this is a wool blend for the coat, and the price points are really good at this. This price point was about $228, $230. Um, so it's a great wool blend, great fabric, very comfortable, nice and warm. Keep that in mind. So this next coat, you guys have seen this because it was gifted to me by the brand Avec Les Fleurs. I hope I said that right. Um, but it was gifted to me by the brand during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's in faux leather. I love it. Um, I do have a leather background, so seeing faux leather that looks this good is pretty impressive. I know this particular coat has sold out, but I will link similar. But this is another classic silhouette that has been given an updated, you know, look in terms of the color being that caramel is very much on trend. Um, faux leather is very much on trend. 
and it's beautiful it's warm the length on this is pretty long it's not a full maxi but it is definitely on the longer side of the midi you've got the thin belt which kind of just you know accentuates the waist and makes you looks nice and makes you look nice and you know snatched a little bit at the waist which we love we basically love a snatched waist anywho love the jacket love the fit and the lines you've got a slit at the back so you can walk very well in, in in the jacket this brand has a lot of really cool coats so i'm going to link a few of them because i was just scrolling through trying to find this one and i found a lot that i really loved so i'm going to share that with you guys and then you've got your classic double breasted silhouette I, I love this piece like I love it's the color is all of it for me so I'm getting ready to go to Toronto and I don't know which coats I'm gonna take because I want to take them all because I love like I love all of these coats but my suitcase will not allow it and I'm not really going anywhere because I'm that's kind of my time off so but we'll see but I love this coat it's super fun it looks great you can dress it up you can dress it down you see how well it looks with um, your turtleneck and then the combat boots it's a whole vibe. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. On to the next. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the cool, like, star details on this. They're so fun. I don't know if all their jackets have that detail, but this one was just so much fun. I love it. It's just such a great piece. Now, on to the next. All right. Next, we've got this shocket. Oh, I love it. This is from H&M. I shared it with you guys last year. Even though we weren't going anywhere last year, I bought so many coats, and I think that's why I'm a little reluctant to add more um, because I got so many, and I some of them didn't see the light of day. <laughs> a few of them didn't, actually. But this, oh, I love. I love this jacket. I love a good black and white pleat piece. Oh, my God, I got the most beautiful black and white St. Laurent baseball hat. It'll look so good with this, and then my black and white Chanel 19. Of course, I have to think about the outfits. But yes, this is a look, guys. With your skinny jeans, remember I said skinny jeans are not necessarily a trend. They're not... I know we've said no skinny jeans and all that stuff, but come fall, winter, you need your skinny jeans for your knee-high boots and everything else. And this look, the turtleneck, the shacket, the skinny jeans. The skinny jeans are from Tabas, if I didn't say that already. And the, the Dior boots, like... Totally a vibe. I love it. I love this jacket. It's nice and heavy. I don't know if H&M has the same one. It's from last year, so I doubt it. But I'm sure that they have similar, and I will link it. Um, but this is just a great piece to have. You can't go wrong with it, especially if you love black and white like I do. Like, I love black and white so much. My car is black and white. Like, I'm obsessed. So, yes, this is a great piece to have. I love it. It's very, very comfortable. I actually have to take it off real quick because every time I put this on, I instantly feel warm. So, it's a great piece. It is a polyester blend. Like, you know, that's most of H&M's um, items. Um, and it's cost effective, so you really can't go wrong with it. I love it. Love it. On to the next. Okay, so this coat, it's a piece apart. It is a wool alpaca blend, which I love. This is probably one of my more luxurious coats that I'm obsessed with. I got this because I didn't want to spend the Max Mara money. So this was kind of like my, you know, next best thing. I got this from net a a long time ago. So I know it's not available. But I know I did find similar pieces. So this is just a great... I want to feel very chic, but I want to feel comfortable. The color is beautiful. The fabric is amazing. It's a gorgeous coat. Like, it definitely wasn't, I think it was just a little under 1000 when I got it. But, I, you know, Max Meyer is 5000 and more. So, I'll settle for the 1000 and, you know, let Max Meyer marinate on the side. But I just love this. I love the oversized pockets in the front. I love the length on it. It's just a very chic, clean coat. This is a timeless piece. Um, that will always live in my closet. I'm not getting rid of it and it is probably the oldest coat on this selection But like I said, I'm not getting rid of it. It is classic. It looks good. It feels good. It is nice and warm I can put a nice beautiful scarf with this. I can do so much with it I can dress it up dress it down the possibilities are endless hence, you know, it's just it's just a fabulous piece and I'm obsessed with it On to the next this is probably the coolest coat I have. I love it. When I got this coat last year, you guys went crazy when I posted it on Instagram. That's the image. I am obsessed with it. This is from Makaj. If I'm, Makaj is a Canadian brand, if you don't know. It's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful coat. Very comfortable, number one. 
very long in terms of, you know, this is a correct maxi puffer coat. The lining, amazing. It is, uh, it's expensive. It was an expensive coat that I never wore because I got it last year during COVID. But now that I'm heading to Toronto, I am bringing this bad boy with me. I'm obsessed. First of all, it's nice and fitted. So for someone like me that I don't like getting too hot, when I get too hot, I literally physically get migraines and I get sick. So I like to layer. So when I'm traveling, carrying this coat, I will probably have a thin turtleneck like what I have on. And basically I could really do this whole look to travel when I'm going home or if I'm going somewhere that I want to carry this particular coat with me. Um, but it's nice and fitted. You've got the zipper and you've got the, the panel over it that covers the zipper so it makes it nice and clean. You've got the belt. Remember how I said everyone's putting a belt on everything? Well, yeah, we saw that last year. We're seeing it again this year. Um, you've got your nice side pockets that also have the zipper. Um, and there's just a lot of function with this coat. It is extremely warm. Even the pockets are lined with more of a, almost like a thin solid lining per se, because they're nice and comfortable. You've got a pocket on the inside. So when you're paying up, upwards of $1,000 for a puffer, you're gonna see a lot of nice fun little design details like the pockets on the inside, the belts with this fabric. This fabric is absolutely beautiful. It feels great, which is a, it's slightly off too in the color so you can actually see the contrast. Um, and then you'll have the extra panel covering the zipper which also keeps you nice and warm. So when you don't have that panel, wind can get in. So it's almost like a windbreaker type detail to prevent the wind from coming inside. So you've got the zipper, you've got the snaps, and you have that. But it also adds to the nice fit of the jacket. I'm gonna zip it up all the way so you guys can kind of get a visual of this jacket. It is everything. I have dressed, well, more so in video than images. I've dressed it up and dressed it down. And it's just, it's just a vibe. Another great feature of this jacket is you've got the double zipper. So if you are wearing this out and you want to sit down, but you don't want to zip the whole thing down, you can just, you know, zip the bottom part up and you can sit down a lot more comfortable that way. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's a hood. Isn't it cute? I'm obsessed with this coat. I love it. I love the fact that right about the waist it just flares out so it really gives you a beautiful silhouette so you don't always have to run for pieces that are just big and oversized so you can layer you can also have really nice fitted silhouettes like this that kind of just you know flatter you and make you look really pretty so i'm going to step back so you can kind of get an idea of the full silhouette of this coat well maybe not the full because it's all the way to the ground but yeah I absolutely love it. I love it. Okay, I'm taking it off because I'm getting hot. On to the next. All right, last but not least, this navy beauty from Koss in that beautiful, cozy, teddy, teddy bearish fabric. I love it. There's a name for the fabric and it's not coming to me and I apologize, um, but I will have the details and everything in the description box, but this is just beautiful. And guys, the coat comes in yellow now. It comes in yellow. So I'm very tempted. I'm not sure if the yellow is still available. I know the navy's not. It might be actually, I'll double check just in case. But this is from last year. I love it. I love it. You've got that fuller big lapel. You, this um, doesn't have the rag on sleeve, but it, you've got a drop sleeve on this as well. The a piece apart, I'm gonna, sh well, I'll share more about the coat silhouettes um, later on. But just, oh, it is a single breast, but you've got the hidden, um, button detail so and it kind of folds over to keep you nice and cozy and it's just it's just a beautiful piece so you can do it all the way up I like to leave my coats open because it's nice and well it's not that cold so yeah the coat itself is just everything I don't think I've worn this yet <laughs> I don't think I've worn it outside my house but it's still a beautiful piece and I love it. I am obsessed with this. I really feel like I need the yellow one just because I love yellow, but the navy is just beautiful. And the navy against black looks absolutely stunning. The length on this is just a little, it's, it's borderline midi, but on the shorter side, longer than the knee length. Very comfortable. You've got more of that cocoon style in terms of the silhouette, so it's a great layering piece. And it's also dressy, so I love, I love this coat. I love them all because they all fit well. I feel like whatever you add to your closet, there should be a love, and coats are no exception. So 
I'm obsessed with them. You guys asked to see some of my coats, so these are some of my favorite coats for the season, and I will continue to share more coats with you guys as the season progresses. But before we end the video, I'm gonna give you um, a few quick tips to selecting the perfect coats, and kind of, you know, I feel like we talked already about the silhouettes and whatnot, but I'll just do a quick run over that, and then we'll end the video. You just gotta love a great Zara blazer, like, oh. This blazer is old and I just, I love it. I, and I feel like there's a red version. There's so many versions of it, but anywho. All right, so tips to selecting the perfect coat. There are a few things that you probably want to look at when you're buying a coat. Obviously, you first of all want to consider your lifestyle. How cold does it get? Where you are? Are you traveling somewhere and you just need a very stylish coat? So the silhouettes are very important. We saw a lot of cocoon silhouettes, which are probably the most ideal and they're still on trend and they still look very good in their chic. And the great thing about a cocoon style or anything that's a bit more forgiving or straight and not too fitted to the body is that you can layer it if you're anything like me and you don't like feeling too uncomfortable with just a very chunky stiff coat layering is always an option so you want to make sure your coat allows for the space to layer the bakash coat is a bit more narrow I can't layer it but it's also a very warm coat so I don't need to layer it um, then again you've got your the cost coat which is more of that cocoon very spacious I can do the layers under it you also have my faux leather coat also a bit more on the narrow part I probably could fit a thicker sweater but I don't want to add anything that's too bulky so if you feel like a lot of the things in your wardrobe are bulky especially when it comes to this time of the year make sure you are picking a silhouette that is a bit more forgiving so more on that straight a line um, not necessarily a line sorry straight narrow nothing too fitted cocoon style silhouettes always work best and yes you also want to look at the sleeves um, if you notice there are some of the coats like the red coat that have a very narrow sleeve in terms of the silhouette kind of like what I have in this blazer those coats are meant in my opinion more so for dinner or occasions where it's not that cold where you don't want to layer too much they look absolutely beautiful they are very chic they are classic but they also limit what you can wear under it but it really depends on where you're going what are the occasions are you going to be outside for a long time are you going to dinner where you just need a nice beautiful coat to you know wear to dinner where you're more than likely coming from the car straight inside and going back into the car so just you know think about what your lifestyle is where you want to wear these particular things to so anything in a more narrow sleeve i would say dinner um places that you're not going to get too cold but then again, you have more of the cocoon styles that have more forgiving sleeves in terms of they're not too narrow, there's space to layer. So always keep that in mind. And then you have the shoulders. I would say the more popular shoulders are your more structured shoulder than the raglan sleeve shoulder and the drop shoulder. This sleeve is your raglan sleeve where there are no, there's not a, a separate um, panel that comes this way like my blazer but it just goes off the shoulder. So this, the, the panel is actually connected at the neck and it hangs down. I would say that is definitely a more classic silhouette. I'm finding, I find that more so in more expensive coats. Um, and I cannot remember why right now for the life of me. I used to sell coats, so you think, but this was almost 20 years ago. So, but I cannot remember why, but it is more of a sophisticated silhouette in general. And that's why you'll see them in more expensive coats. And now I'm finding that more brands are doing the drop sleeve, which we have in the cost coat. So it kind of mimics this, but you still have that separate panel. This is more of a design challenge in terms of putting it together and that's why it's a bit more expensive. This is a little easier because you've got the one panel in front. Here you'll have multiple panels and then you're also connecting it through the neck. Um, in terms of the fit and the way it falls, as you guys saw, they both look really good on. So I don't really feel like one looks better than the other. It really depends on your silhouette as well. Um, for people who are not so broad in terms of their shoulders, you might want to go with something that has your classic shoulder silhouette, maybe with a little shoulder padding. But if you are a little broader, this will make your shoulders look a little not as strong and pronounced. So that's something to keep in mind. Longer arms. I've got longer arms. And I know I'm not the only one who has longer arms. So when you're shopping for a coat, you want to make sure that the coat sleeves are long. Um, if they are not long enough, you still have a little bit of leeway. So most brands will give you about two inches on the inside. So you can always take it to a tailor to get it released. Some brands don't this one doesn't so you actually have to check this especially if you feel like the sleeve is not long enough 
Always check the inside of the sleeve to see if you have leeway to lengthen. This one does. You've got about two inches there. And if it's too long, you can always have it shortened. So you want to make sure you look, just, you know, have a sneak peek on the inside of the the sleeve itself to make sure it gives you that leeway especially if you're layering it you want a little bit more extra length because that layering piece will kind of pull it up a little bit fabric fabric is so important is it cashmere is it wool is it alpaca um, those particular fabrics are definitely more of the luxurious fabrics and you'll see them in your higher price point coats however a lot of brands tend to mix your wools with synthetics some brands will mix a cashmere wool blend and those are still probably going to be on the higher price point but keep in mind synthetic fabrics are stronger so if you have a blend that means your coat fabric is probably a little stronger it'll withstand some of the elements and other things that you know if you get nicked on something or whatnot so it really depends on what you want the coat for do you want a coat for longevity that is strong that will last you the, a lifetime definitely a you know wool synthetic blend is not necessarily a bad idea so keep that in mind luxurious fabrics tend to not necessarily wear the best only because they're a bit more delicate they're luxurious they're rare they're hard to come by so luxury doesn't always necessarily mean that it's going to last you a lifetime more so you're paying for the fabric the process of the fabric how rare is the fabric so keep that in mind and that doesn't say that is the case for everything but for a lot of times it really depends on the actual fabric, the, um, the amount of wool, the amount of whatever it's blended with. But keep that in mind. So because you're paying a higher price point doesn't necessarily mean it's going to last a little longer. Um, but more so you're just, you know, you're getting the luxuriousness of cashmere. And if you're like me, you love cashmere. So lengths. Lengths are also really important. Um, you know, I've had friends who are short and they're like, well, I, I don't like maxis. And, you know, some people are tall and they don't like shorter coats. Honestly, I really feel like this is something that really depends on the individual. I'm about 5'6 and I love it all. Um, I do have friends who are short and they will rock a maxi and, you know, excellent. Um, and I have friends that are really tall and they'll rock a maxi, but on them it looks more like a midi, but it also looks really good. So it really depends on your silhouette. So pay attention to your silhouette, number one. And then how do you want to wear it? Is it going to be uncomfortable for you to drag all that coat? You know, do you get really cold? So do you need the length? So those are things that you want to pay attention to. Um, maxis are definitely a bit more, you know, chic and luxurious because of the length. You've got more coat. Um, however, it really depends on you and the silhouette and what you want to wear it for. We talked about the fabrics and the longevity and, you know, having pieces that mix well, but also taking care of your coat. You want to make sure that you take care of the coat you have a lint roller you have a debubbler to kind of take out all those little things that happen with wool and that way you add a little bit more longevity so look at those fabrics yes but also make sure you have the tools to ensure that your coat lasts a little longer for you so make sure you have a good debubbler to get all the lint and all of that stuff off as well as a lint remover and i will link some of these items for you guys in the description box as well so taking care of that coat also ensures that it will last long and you have the perfect coat. Um, so yeah, guys, I think I kind of went over everything. I was going to also add um, how to shop for the perfect coat, but I feel like, you know, we kind of covered all of that in terms of, you know, the tips of getting the coat itself. I would say my only tip for you when shopping for a coat, if there's nothing that pushes you or you feel like, oh, it's not going to sell out, you can wait a little bit in terms of sales because the best sales are towards the end of the year and then coats start to go on sale. But if you're anything like me and if you see something you love, just get it. <laughs> Anywho, um, I hope all of this was helpful. It was such a pleasure sharing my favorite coats with you guys. Let me know if I missed anything. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments um, section. You know I respond to your comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any comments or questions you have with regards to coats. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope these tips will help you in picking the perfect coat. If you found it helpful, please feel free to share. Feel free to like. You know when you like, share, and comment, that tells YouTube that this is a good video and they continue to share. So if you do that for me, I would really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you in advance. If you're new and you enjoyed the video and you love my vibe, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I would love for you guys to join my social YouTube fam because we're really cool. We're very positive and we love fashion. 
no judgment zone whatsoever so welcome um don't forget to check me out on instagram guys it's odd by Moni. TikTok, odd by Moni as well you get all the style inspo you get everything first you've probably seen all of these coats and everything already if you're following me on instagram so make sure you guys join the instagram family it's odd by Moni. and on TikTok as well it's odd by Moni. don't forget to check out the website oddbymonica.com because you will see it's like an archive it's nine years old so there's so much there so check out odd by Moni. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time. Ciao. Bye, guys.